I was like, video, video is the next big thing that's going to be on the internet. This is so cool. Like you could record something on, God, you couldn't even record on a cell phone then. It was like, steal someone's webcam. Well, we actually started making videos before YouTube even existed. We don't even have broadband internet yet. Videos are not a thing that you do on the internet. You know, we had just graduated from high school. We were 17 years old. All of our friends were going off to colleges, and we decided to stay in our hometown of Sacramento, go to community college. Then somebody took one of our videos and put it on YouTube. I did a Google search, and I found that it was uploaded to this website called YouTube. And someone just ripped it and posted it there. I know you've probably already read the title by now, but um, I feel like we should just come out and say it. I'm leaving Smosh. I know a lot of you guys are probably going to assume he's leaving because we got in some sort of big fight or because we hate each other. No. Uh, but I can guarantee you guys, as Nothing to do with that. That did not happen. No. no. I've started to really look at <laughs> what I put out there into the ether as really having some kind of influence on the way that people go about their days after watching a piece of content. My name's Anthony Padilla, and today I'm going to be sitting down with survivors of school shootings to learn what it's really like to live through such a traumatic, an earth-shattering event. Thank you so much, Shelby. Thank you. I feel like I fully understand the wondrous world of asexuality. I'm so glad. And congratulations on coming out to the entire world. Oh my god, I forgot already. <laughs> <laughs> it made me realize that the world would be so much of a better place if people came into any interaction first, but just from a place of curiosity and trying to understand rather than judgment. And it kind of made me feel like there was a point to what I was doing, which really helped.